Hey guys, it's Jack here from Base Controller PCs, and today I wanted to talk to you guys really quickly about Halo Online, why I think it's awesome, and why I think you should download it. So first off, Halo Online is a free-to-play, that's right, free, no microtransactions, none of that shit, this ain't TF2, this ain't Destiny, this isn't no fucking smite. Shots fired. Anyway, so this is an awesome free-to-play game, and it's just like Halo 4. It's actually Halo 4 multiplayer, with mostly Halo 3 maps and a few Halo 4 maps. Uh, and there are more to be added in the future. This is a very community-driven game. So you can go ahead and download it. I'm actually going to put the link in the description. It's to megadownload.com. It's not a virus, trust me. It's fine. You just hit download through the browser. It's going to go to 100%. Then you hit download. Then it's going to show up in your Chrome browser at the bottom left corner showing that it's been downloaded. It's an extractable zip file, so you just go ahead, extract it, uh, and then inside of there, there's a file called Dorito Updater. So what you do is you just launch that, uh, and then I'll show you guys on screen now what happens. So it's going to open up to this. Uh, this is the El Dorito, which is funny because it's like Mountain Dew and Doritos. Uh, and so you open this up, and it'll initially show um, validating files. You just let it run its course for a moment. Uh, and then once that's done, you can either hit skip if there's no new version, or you can just hit play game. However, there are a few other settings I just want to show you guys. There's player customization. Over here is where you can set your name, you can choose your armor, and your color. Uh, you can also adjust this while the game is actually going on, which is pretty freaking cool. Then there's settings, this is if you're creating a server, uh, your field of view, all that sort of stuff. Really cool stuff, actually. Then there's voice over IP, this is just your talk settings. Uh, as far as I know right now, you can't actually change the key that it's bound to. Right now it's caps lock, so it's a little inconvenient, but it's fine. In the future, I'm sure they're going to add the ability to change what key you press for push to talk. And might I add that the voice over IP is absolutely amazing, so very good job. Then there's just some other stuff um, that you guys can look into. There's a big subreddit, it's growing super fast, and there will be tons of stuff on there about the auto uh, ex exec, auto executable tab. Um, and then once you're done that, you just go ahead and you hit play game. Now, as the game boots up, you're going to get the Microsoft Studios, then a 343 Industries logo. And the reason for this is this game is actually made by Microsoft in 343, along with a Russian studio, which is the reason for the second title screen. So once you get past that, you're going to be at your main menu. Um, and it's going to show your Spartan along with all your name and stuff, or your armor. Once you're at the main menu, you have three options to choose from. The first is Host Multiplayer, the second is Host Forge, and then there's Server Browser, and I'll show you guys that one last. So the Host Multiplayer, this is also where you go to find a local multiplayer game, so on your local network, uh, you can switch the lobby to a Forge one. Uh, but then in Network, in order to host a game or to find other people's games, you're going to hit Network, and then you're going to set it to Online, and if you're hosting, you're going to hit Host, and if you want to find a game, you hit Find Game. Very straightforward. Then you can choose your game mode. There's tons of game modes, all the classic ones. And then there's maps, so you can choose all from a bunch of classic maps. And like I said earlier, there are going to be plenty more to come. Then like I said, there's Host Forge and there's Server Browser, which I'll show you in one more second. The other thing is settings, uh, and I have a couple recommended settings. So this game is not intensive to run whatsoever. So the first thing I'd recommend, however, is turning off HUD Shake. Uh, it doesn't really change much. 
um, in terms of looks, but in terms of performance, it makes it way smoother is something I've noticed. Uh, the frame rates are just much more consistent. Controls, you can rebind controls like usual, you can change uh, mouse acceleration, all that sort of stuff. And then there's video settings. Most people with a dedicated graphics card, no matter what it is, should be able to run this at high settings and pretty much any resolution. This game is not intensive to run. And then you just have typical audio settings, however, they're not really doing all that much. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to jump into the server browser. So the server browser uh, is populated with a bunch of servers right now. Uh, there are 313 people playing on 36 servers, which is pretty good. And this is where I'm going to announce that I'm going to be actually hosting four dedicated servers. They're all going to be 16-player servers with random map rotations. Uh, and it'll all be pretty cool. Obviously free for you guys to join. Uh, there's going to be donation links for them. So if you want to help with the server uptime and keep everything going nice and smooth, that'd be awesome. My dog is in my room. What's up, puppy? No jump. I made a cameo in my video. Uh, and that's pretty much it for the server browser. Not too much on that. I usually sort by ping because it really helps you find uh, your best play experience, really. So sort by lowest ping and then look for a game type that you want to play. That's how I go. And that's pretty much it for Halo Online. This is freaking awesome, and it's a step in the right direction. Uh, we've been wanting Halo on PC for a very long time, and we finally have it. So if you guys like this video, drop a like down below. If you don't like this video, drop a dislike, and if you really did, tell me why in a comment. Tell me what you'd like to see in a future video. Until next time, peace out. Stand still and die the game mode. No, don't- oh no! <laughs> I murdered him, <most> <laughs> foul. Jack, Jack, we were ready to duel and then he just gets sniped in the back of the head. <laughs> I'm still bad at aiming. That's a double. Whoa. Wait, can you, uh, bind something? So could I bind X to be, uh, caps lock for this game? Yeah, no, we don't have any. I see you, Jack. Gain the lead. Uh, we have a whole bunch of spaghetti noodles, yeah. Gain the lead. Uh, lost the lead. Lost the lead. That works out for me, because I gotta shoot people in the face. I'll see you when you get home. I love you. Kill. Triple kill. Right. Gain the lead. I can't believe you just did that to us. Motherfucker.